Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. I remember all the people that said, hey, check out the SD9. It's a great handgun. It's budget priced. You need to check out the SD9. You keep reviewing these budget handguns, but you don't have the SD9 in your video catalog. So I went and borrowed a buddy's, got the SD9, took it to the range, shot it, everything. And I said, okay, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Budget priced, 300 bucks on average, maybe a little less if you caught it on sale. And many shooters said that that handgun, which is compact size, polymer frame, striker fire, fantastic plastic, is one of the best deals going out there. And so I had to check it out for myself. Now, I once had a Sigma, didn't like that at all, but the SD9 sort of cured many of the problems that the Sigma had. Anyhow, in December of 23, they came out with the 2.0 model, and they kept it budget priced, and they made it even better than the original SD9. MSRP on this is 349 bucks, and you're still picking it up for 300 bucks at the local gun store. Very common price point for the SD9 2.0. Well, let's start with the slide serrations. They made them deeper cut. They made them wider. All right, is that that big of a game changer? Probably not, but it is pretty cool. They put serrations on the top strap. Once again, not going to be a game changer. If you own an SD9, you're not going to go get the 2.0 because of these serrations or these serrations, but they got rid of the hinged trigger and put a flat face trigger, and that is the game changer right there. That is what they did that is very nice, along with keeping the price at a budget level. So it has 16 round mags, remains four inch barrel, but that trigger which is often seen with the performance center triggers is on the sd9 2.0 let's check it out here we have a trigger tab in there it is flat as i mentioned like four times but it breaks just over five pounds reset right there the trigger looks very similar to the two mp 9 2.0 carry comp metal the one i showed you know a month ago anyhow it's a much nicer trigger now i don't mind hinged triggers but if i had a choice i would go with a non-hinged trigger and then if i had a choice between a flat trigger or a rounded i guess it depends on the gun like there are some that i really love the rounded trigger but i really dig a flat trigger that is a bit lighter than most hinged triggers. If you notice, the hinged triggers are always a little bit heavier. This I'm measuring right around 5.3 pounds, which is a bit lighter. So they did a nice job. You still have the three dot sights. Is it the greatest gun in the world? No. Is it a fine handgun for 300 bucks? Absolutely, 100%. Let's go ahead and disassemble it. We'll take a look at the internals. It has these takedown tabs. Just move the slide back a little bit and push those down, pull the trigger, and off comes the slide from the frame. It's everything that people love with polymer frame striker fire handguns at a much less cost. Now, here we have a single recoil spring guide rod assembly and the four inch barrel. The slide is very well machined and this this handgun prior to the 2.0 model had a great reputation people raved about the sd9 and the cost of it they said that that is really a great price for a quality handgun they really didn't raise it with the 2.0 model 349 commonly purchased for 299. Let's go ahead and get the SD9 2.0 on the scale. We'll see that it's weighing in at one pound six and three quarters ounces. We move that to just ounces. We're looking at 22 and three quarters ounces. Here are 16 rounds of nine millimeter, 29 and a quarter ounce. How about the carry round? 29 and three quarters ounces. So under 30 ounces. Just under 30 ounces is the SD9 2.0 
loaded with 17 rounds. Grip texturing, rather aggressive. Back strap and the front strap when you grip this thing. Kind of digs into your hand. Has a two slot dust cover rail there to add a light. A sight hole indicator. Overall, nice package at a budget price. So for 300 bucks, I would recommend this to somebody looking for their first handgun. You know, they didn't want to spend a lot of money. They say, what would you recommend? This would be one of the choices that I would tell them. The magazine release is on the left side. It can be switched over to the right side. Right there, you can see that cut out. So is it the greatest gun ever? No. Is it a good gun for what they're asking for it? I think it is. And I think the 2.0 is better improved over the SD9. Many times you see a new generation come out and you can hardly notice the difference. But when they change the trigger from a hinged to a flat face trigger, that you notice. And that is what I consider the best benefit with the SD9 2.0. So just want to get it out there so I don't have people saying, hey, when are you going to review that? And plus I said, I said, this one interests me because one of the price, you really can't get hurt too bad over $300 for a handgun that holds 16 rounds. And with the trigger and those other improvements, I think they did a fine job. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.